Today is April 9th. It's Friday, and I'm Derek O'Shea, and this is the Derek O'Shea Show. Joe Biden issues executive gun control measures to fight epidemic gun crime in the United States, saying things like, no amendment to the Constitution is absolute. <gasps> Joe, not a single amendment? What about slavery? Ugh, don't say that. Uh, <laughs> so... I did a full breakdown on my YouTube page. Go to Derek O'Shea Show on YouTube. You can find me on there. And I talked. To, I did a live reaction to the whole thing because he said things like, uh, you buy a gun online, you don't need a background check. That's a lie. You do get a background check. And there's the gun show who loophole is so stupid. So check it out. I did a full reaction to that. Let me know your thoughts. And saying things like Magaz- uh, the amount of ma- rounds in a magazine isn't constitutional. That's stupid. San Francisco has lost more residents between 2019 and 2020 than any other major U.S. city, according to data compiled by the commerce reality firm, realty firm, (laughs) reality, CBRE group, and reported by the Business Insider. The the study discovered that the number of those fleeing from San Francisco to to Texas spiked 32.1%, and those making the trek from Florida skyrocketed by 46.2%. You can leave your cities, but keep your politics there. <laughs> uh, we'll see. We'll see if that actually happens. I'm curious <laughs> to see if all these Californians learn their lesson, or they're just too dumb to realize why they left. Oh, it's just corrupt politicians. Our democratic policies are totally fine. On Thursday, Dr. Rochelle Walensky... Love this person. She's trying to be as cool and as powerful as Dr. Fauci. And when I say cool, I'm totally joking. The director of the CDC stated that racism was a serious public health threat. Huh. And the CDC echoed on its website that racism was a systematic problem asserting to build a healthier America for all. We must confront the systems and policies that have resulted in the generational injustice that has given rise to racial and ethnic health iniquities. Ugh, love that word, iniquities. You know what? I'm beginning to agree. You know why? Because I think racist white leftists or leftist liberals are racist. I mean, white fragility, she even says on her book she's a racist. So let's just agree and say, yeah. Yeah, you liberal leftists are a bunch of racists, and you are a public health threat. The CDC should deal with you. (laughs) Uh, Sam Brock of NBC started the show by declaring, after this uh, new news that came out, that Michigan, Pennsylvania, and New England had some of the strictest measures in the country and cases are on the rise. While in the South... States like Arkansas and Texas that have reopened businesses and ripped away masks mandates are seeing their numbers drop. And he's calling it on NBC a COVID conundrum. Hmm. And I also saw another doctor on that episode where a doctor was saying, well, we're waiting for that big spike to come. It's just going to come. It's going to be, it's been past 14 days, 21, 60, 90. We'll wait 100 days. When the plot when the plot doesn't make any sense and the narrative starts to squash and you realize that maybe science is science. I believe science. <laughs> Let science speak for science, okay? And stop letting the liberals control the science narrative. Hollywood. God, I love Hollywood. All their actors are just such good activists. Directors Guild condemns Georgia law as voter suppression. Who cares? We're not going to film our films in Georgia anymore due to voter suppression. How are they suppressing? They're making them have an identification. That sounds pretty racist. It's just harder for people in low-income neighborhoods to be able to get an identification. Really? Is it it's harder? Well, they don't have access to things like the internet. like we... Oh, really? Okay. <sighs> As I tell my friends and family... You can't think logically about these issues. You'll go absolutely insane. Representative Steve Cohen, speaking of insane comments, 
Representative Steve Cohen, Democrat of Tennessee, likened the January 6th Capitol riot to the infamous Japanese attack on Pearl Freaking Harbor in 1941, during which more than 2,000 United States soldiers were killed and the country was dragged into World War II. Yes, that's exactly like the Capitol 6 riots. Why don't we also go even further? It's like concentration camps. That's exactly like that. Oh, and it's like the bomb on Hiroshima. <laughs> it's exactly like that. These people are insane. Okay, <laughs> or they just don't know history very well. They're like, All right, Pearl Harbor, what? One one person died and a couple people had a heart attack. Same thing. Uh, some sad news, if you're especially if you're British, Prince Philip dies, passes away. Uh, I don't know much about the monarchy. I could care less, but I know that I think he fought in World War II and he saved a. A ship or something from Nazi Germany. I don't know. Uh, but, but the more you know, the more you can do with your life. <sighs> a new video circulating of a U- USPS worker, a white woman, is savagely beaten by two women. But, you know, if you watch the video, it's more like three black women trying to get stimulus t- checks in broad daylight in Flint, Michigan. Will this be reported as a racist attack? Is it talking about the racist epidemic or like all those other videos of black men beating the crap out of Asians and saying, oh, these white suppress... No. Because the narrative means more than the truth to news media. Especially as this is a federal worker. (laughs) You just beat up a federal worker. Okay. Well, these... Girls face prison time? Absolutely not. But get that Kyle Rittenhouse out of here. Oh, God. Double standards. Unbelievable. Thousands on St. Vincent are ordered to evacuate as cruise ship lines send ships to help people flee the Caribbean island. It's kind of a nice little vacation. Uh, As recently, La (laughs) Souffrire Volcano, (laughs) I'm not French, and the Caribbean erupts in plumes with, of ash up to five miles high. This is the first time since 1979. That's insane. I've never been to that island, and I've always wanted to go to St. Vincent. I heard it's beautiful. So you better not ruin that, that freaking island, La Soufflée. <laughs> uh, this is just weird. Elon, you need to relax. A monkey has been connected to Elon Musk's Neuralink device and is trained to play Pong with its brain. Have you seen Planet of the Apes, Elon? I know you think it's funny. It's not funny. TikTok blacklists Prager U. That's right. Conservatives are not being hushed. That's a lie. That's a lie being spread by the right and Fox News and Breitbart and all those silly sources. Oh, no, it's actually happening. And you need to pay attention to this as they shut down more conservative voices. But... You know, go build your own platform. Oh, wait, we own all the, 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 the ways in which you can. And you're shut down. John Kerry. That guy is such an idiotia. <laughs> He's an idiota. <laughs> uh, idiota. <laughs> Sorry, John Kerry says he's hopeful but not confident China will co- cooperate on emissions reduction. John are you stupid or are you just stupid? <laughs> They're not going to do it. Why would you do it? They're still developing. They're not as dumb as we are. Get that pipeline, pipeline out of here. Let's bring up these gas prices. It helps the American people. Blah, 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 blah. <sighs> McDonald's, oh no, will close hundreds of locations in Walmart stores as the pandemic changes shopping habits. That's right. You're no longer eating your Big Mac as you shop because you got to wear that stinking face mask. Don't worry, but get vaccinated, people. But keep wearing that face mask and stay socially distant. Uh, Russia. This is like, <clears throat> okay, this is this situation between Russia and Ukraine is heating up. Russia warns it, it will be beginning. <clears throat> it will be the beginning of the end of Ukraine and its army will shoot the country in the face. If it has to defend its citizens, don't you like that? Defend its citizens. 
Putin builds his forces at the border of Ukraine. I'm telling you, we're so focused on our little microaggressions and our little systematic racism that there's real issues going on in the country and nobody cares. Except for me. I care. Derek O'Shea cares. (laughs) And today in history, in 1865, Robert E. Lee surrenders. And that is the Derek O'Shea Show. Thank you guys so much for listening to the Derek O'Shea Show. I appreciate you guys so much. Hope you guys have a fantastic Friday. Enjoy your day. I'm going to have some videos coming out this week and a week recap and just some thoughts of the week. And uh, be sure to check out my videos on YouTube. <laughs> I've been doing some live reaction on some of the the White House little propaganda films <laughs> or just their little videos of Joe Biden talking about how awesome of a job he's doing. Uh, so check those out. Um, I, hope, I hope they make you laugh because that's what literally the... It's, the, you know, the definition of my program, make you laugh with some uh, with facts that drive laughter. Because if, if you're not laughing about this stuff, you're going to go crazy. I hope you guys have a fantastic Friday. As always, I'll see you on the next episode of The Derek O'Shea Show.